Dear Diary, It rained a little this morning. Miss Malam, the parson's wife, said it that it had been an exceptionally good year for her orchard. Every pantry in the village has proof of it. My cousin, the Earl of Ross, has married some eccentric woman from England. It seems they are coming to Offaly to live in Burr Castle. I expect that the new Countess of Ross will be too aloof to be interested in her dull country relations. Dear Miss King, a castle is a very fine thing, if one is looking at it from a distance. I cannot begin to tell you about the piercing draughts and the trying humidity. It will take me another fortnight to bring the furnishings of Burr Castle to a passable standard. I shall expect you for tea on the Friday immediately after, at four in the afternoon. If you have a sketchbook, bring it along. Your affectionate cousin, Mary Parsons, Countess of Ross. Right. I can't sit still for long periods. Do you suffer from sciatica? <laughs> no. I suffer from an inability to sit still. <laughs> would you like a tour of Burr Castle, Miss King? Yes, I would like that very much. I have moulded the place to match my temperament. If you wish to know me, know my dwelling. Bring along your sketchbook. And this is my bedroom. I designed all the furniture in it. What do you think? I have never seen anything. Well, when one is plain, one likes to be surrounded by beautiful things and beautiful people. That is why I married William. He was a pop and jay when I met him. He still is. <laughs> And that is why I invited you here. When I first saw a portrait of William's family, I was instantly drawn to your agreeable features and intelligent eyes. I thought, this woman has to be worth knowing. And if she is not, at least she will be decorative. Do I offend you? The fact is that we are only getting to know each other. And I may yet find you boring. And you may yet find me intolerable. I am so used to the smell of chemicals. This is a sort of laboratory. I am an enthusiast of the new invention of photography. It means writing with light. Thanks to this new machine, we can capture images on a copper plate treated with chemicals. <laughs> capture images, Miss King? From the real world? Really? Yes. I love the forge, but this, this, how many loves can one have? Iron is my first love, but hammering light is my best love. 
and life is long. And the heart, the capacious. Don't be alarmed, Tommy, and don't you dare move. This is only Miss King, my cousin. She has never seen a photograph being taken before. In order to capture light, the subject must remain still for half an hour. <laughs> Poor Cupid here has been standing since we poured the tea. <laughs> you almost ruined an afternoon's photography. <laughs> met Lady Mary last night to learn a bit about astronomy. She said the telescope they are building will be the biggest in the world, and we will see further into the universe than any human before. I have a present for you. What is this? A pair of new eyes. There are two lenses, as in the telescope, but designed to look at very small things. You can mount them on a machine called a microscope. What an incredible object, and what wonders it reveals. I have now taken to collect small insects, so I can put them under a lens and draw them. Thank you, ladies, that's enough. Mm. Oh, Miss King, please do pose for a portrait. <laughs> How long have I been here, unmoved? I feel I've been here since the beginning of time, and everything is precious, precious. Miss King, you almost ruined the photograph. First news of Lady Mary since the incident. It's been a full week. A note arrived today to invite me to tea at the castle. Lady Mary! Mr. Ward. Mr. Ward? Mr. Ward, this is my very dear cousin, Miss Mary King. Pleasure to meet you, my dear. Henry is trying to build a steam engine with William. I hear that we shall soon be using steam to move carts. Oh, not just carts. Steam can be used to move all manner of things. Mill wheels, grass cutters. Why, even your camera could be modified. We could be capturing moving images. If you would only let me, I would prove it to you. That I would like to see. <laughs> Do you know, Mr. Ward, that Miss King has been chosen to provide illustrations for a new book on microscopic organisms? Really? Oh, yes. We are so very proud of her at Burr. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you.
All I can think is, why not? I will have my work and my freedom and support, and she wants me to. How can I say no to this woman who rules the moon's moods and rules me? I thought I could bend things to my will. Now I find myself remade, reshaped. Miss King thinks me beautiful. Because she thinks it, I know that somehow I must be. How shall I live with this knowledge? Dear Diary, A month ago I married Henry Ward. I am now Mary Ward. How strange that sounds. Gifts are still pouring in from friends, relatives and neighbours. A present from Miss Malham, the parson's wife, has just been delivered. The best present of all came from the London publisher. My book. Henry and I will set sail in the morning for South America, where I shall research for a book on exotic plants and creatures seen under the microscope. I anticipate that I shall be too busy to write here. This shall be my last entry.